Hey everyone, my name is Boss of the Boss Coin YouTube channel and today I'm here to talk to you about what I think to be one of, if not the best wallet for people just getting into crypto and even intermediate users. Today I'm here to talk to you about Exodus. Exodus, in my opinion, is the best multi-coin wallet, period. It's the best hot side wallet, which means that you know it's always connected to the internet always readily available, but a bit more susceptible to a malicious attack. Basically the breakdown, to make it simple, there's three kinds of wallets. There's a web-based wallet, such as my Ether wallet. There's a client-based wallet, such as Exodus, which you download and just runs on your computer. And then the third one would be a cold wallet or a hardware wallet, and that is a wallet that is a dedicated piece of hardware, such as the Trezor, which I have a video on, which basically takes your crypto completely off the grid and secures it. The way you would rank these in security is browser is the least safe, client side is safer, and a cold wallet is the safest because again, you're taking it totally off the grid. Ultimately, I think Exodus and Jax go head to head for top multi-coin wallets. Jax gets a lot of downloads because they have mobile platforms integrated. You know, I can have Jax on my phone and I used to before I realized how buggy Jax was. I was very disappointed to see Jax always adding new coins but not fixing their persistent issues. Whereas Exodus was adding coins to their wallet at a slower rate, their wallet was much more functional and all the features it was supposed to have and work, they hadn't worked. They also release their updates on a uniform pattern. So it's about every two weeks now Exodus releases an update and on those updates it's readily available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. That's the big three. Sure, everyone would love to see a mobile platform. Maybe they don't have the resources to do that so they choose not to to not deliver a subpar product that Jax has done. Again, my video here isn't to bash Jax. I like that they're in the sphere. I like that they offer another option. However, when you use Jax for months and you have persistent issues and you actually go submit a ticket with them, eventually they get back to you and they don't even help you solve your problem, then you have a similar issue with Exodus. You message Exodus, they get back to you quickly and you quickly solve your problem. You start to see which company you should align yourself with. Exodus has many of the popular tokens already available and they recently just added two very popular coins such as Ethereum Classic and Bitcoin Cash. Also in the latest Exodus update, what I really like that they did is gonna be awesome for beginners and really me. You know, I always need to study up on my stuff too. This feature, it shows every coin, you know, in this drop down menu, essentially, you're seeing what it does, why, why, why is it relevant? Why is it in Exodus? Why should you think about obtaining some? That's very helpful because you can create a diversified cryptocurrency invested portfolio just in Exodus. Another feature I like about Exodus is you can change your theme, a little customization. Honestly, it's nice. For example, again, you know, direct comparison Jax, you don't get that option. It doesn't feel like it's totally yours. You're using Jax's platform, whereas Exodus kind of feels more like my own wallet. You know, it's like, sure, you go to the store, you could buy the GI Joe wallet, or you could buy the blue wallet or the green wallet or the wallet with stripes on it to make you feel like it's more your own. It's doing the same thing, same function, but now you have a different skin on it. It's like Dota with all the hats. Everybody follows for that, including myself. One of the coolest features about Exodus and Jax is that they both have Shapeshift built in. Shapeshift is an awesome function that allows you to quickly and easily transfer your tokens from one form to another. So let's say I've got Bitcoin. I can click over here to exchange and I can put, you know, one Bitcoin into, you know, say 10 Ethereum. That's not exact, that's just an you know, estimate. But I could exchange it for whatever the current value is. If you're interested in learning more about Shapeshift, one, subscribe, I have a video upcoming on it. Two, head to their website, shapeshift.io. And three, we're also integrating it into Voscoin.com. So stay tuned with us because we'd like to be your one-stop shop for everything crypto. Another very cool feature of Exodus is this portfolio option. Granted, I've moved a lot of my coins out of Exodus into my Trezor just because I like to add its security. But prior to that, I really enjoyed looking at my portfolio here and I could really see, wow, I've got a lot of Ethereum compared to Bitcoin and so forth. It gives you a nice breakdown. 
It's a very cool feature and it's constantly updated so you're getting real time values. That's a big benefit of this wallet and being connected as you can see, boom, this is worth this, boom, this is worth this. So maybe if you've been thinking about exchanging some Bitcoin to say Ethereum, Ethereum seems low today, then you go over to exchange, boom, boom, done, and now you've diversified your portfolio in what you think to be a good investment move. One of my gripes with Exodus is the fact that if you download Exodus on your Mac and you download it on your Windows computer and you download it on your second Mac, then they will not be able to be synced. Well, for example, with Jax, if I download it on my phone, I download it on my Windows computer, I download it on my Mac, I download it on my other Mac, and I just, you know, restore the backup, then I'll have the same exact Jax loaded on each one of those so I can access the same actual wallet. Whereas with Exodus, it creates a new wallet for you across each computer every time. So if you have two computers, you can't have the same Exodus wallet synced up in both of them, which sort of sucks, but don't break down. I heard they're working on that and that's going to be a future update. So I don't know. I haven't asked them directly, but that'd be very cool to see. Add some nice uniformity to the platform. Furthermore, mark my words that all of these multi-coin wallets like Exodus and Jax will have a hardware wallet sometime in the next couple of years. I'm telling you, hardware wallets are the future. They know that, everybody knows that, and I'm sure they're all in development. The functions to send and receive in Exodus are very, very simple. I absolutely love the receive feature. You click this, copy, boom, done, you're ready to go, send me your Bitcoin. That's what I'm talking about. If you want to send, very cool option, you can click an amount, you can click send max, or you can do a dollar amount. Very easy, very intuitive, just click, boom, go. I want to send you 100 bucks in Bitcoin, click, boom, go, done. You know, I want to receive 0.01 Bitcoin, click, boom, done. I'm gonna say it again, click, boom, done. It's that easy, come on. If you guys are wondering, right here behind me is Tails, the Shiba Inu, and she is a huge fan of Exodus. Why? Because they have the coolest background in the business. However, I will say I'm a little disappointed they've removed this background from Exodus as they dropped Dogecoin, but it still sticks with mine because I just update it every time and I guess I'm just lucky it just sticks in there. But I'm sure if I change the theme, I wouldn't have the option to click back because it's not an option in the theme menu. However, this is the coolest background in the business and you got to respect Exodus for having that. They did drop Dogecoin because quite honestly, Dogecoin is a dead coin. It's sad to see the developer really threw away an awesome opportunity. That's his loss. It's too bad. Another awesome feature of Exodus is this now and then feature. So you can click on a transaction, you can see the date, you can see the amount, and you can see the value then, and you can see the value now. Very cool little feature to track, man. Wow, I shouldn't have spent that then. I feel sort of dumb, or like, wow, I'm glad I got rid of that at that time, or wow, what a great investment. Look how much it's gone up since then. Again, you know, little things like this, sure you could track them yourself, but having a wallet that is doing this for you, it makes your life that much better. Other than that guys, there's really not much else to it. I highly recommend Exodus. I think it's one of the best wallet options out there. When you set it up, you set up a restore link that will help you in the case of say your computer crashes, Exodus will be able to help you restore it, or you may be able to do it yourself, but either way, you send it to your email. And again, cool feature. Ultimately, Exodus is great. I've really enjoyed it. I'm going to continue to use it and it's going to always be my client side wallet. They have steadily always pushed out their updates and every time they update it, Exodus gets better, not worse. They're adding more coins. I'm a huge fan of Exodus. They won me over as a user. They have good customer service. They're doing good things. And if I can get them to re-add a Doge background, preferably a little, a little tails right here, well, I think we'll be in business. So there it is, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Bosscoin YouTube channel to see more videos on everything crypto and tails. She doesn't like that.